The Animal's Ark, written and illustrated by Marianne Dubuc, published by Kids Can Press. Pip, pop. It had begun to rain in the animal kingdom, lightly at first, and then. It began to pour. There was so much water everywhere. The animals didn't know where to seek shelter. Then a funny-looking sea creature appeared on the horizon. Was it a whale or an octopus? No, it was a boat, and a kindly man inviting the animals aboard. Two by two, the animals stepped aboard, careful not to tread on any paws or tails. There had never been so many animals on one boat before. At first, things were a little hurly burly, but everyone quickly found a spot. Outside, it seemed the rain wouldn't ever stop. Below deck, the animals settled in. The birds made their nest, and the sheep played leapfrog. The crocodile had his teeth cleaned, and the ladybugs played dominoes. Some of the animals were terribly bored, but others had a grand time. And all the while, the rain fell. The zebra counted her stripes: one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, and the elephant swung. The goldfish didn't quite know what to do with himself, and the cat was feeling peckish. Suddenly, a storm swelled. The ship was tossed about on the waves. Howling and crashing, the storm lasted for several days. The animals were beside themselves. Then one morning, though the rain still fell, the sea finally calmed. What a relief! The animals went back to their activities. The tiger enjoyed a nap. While the chameleon played hide and seek, the snails played mazes. The mouse, the cat, the turtle, and the giraffe had a contest to see who was tallest. But before the winner was announced, the ship sprang a leak. What terrible luck! Happily. The elephant came to the rescue. Through the rain, the boat sailed on. The animals couldn't wait to set paw on dry land. The penguins were overheating, and the rabbits were seasick. The rhinos took up too much room. The hedgehogs were a thorn in others' hides, and the cat sharpened her claws in all the wrong places. Tired of the quarreling, one of the birds flew off in search of land. Things aboard the ship were in shambles. The animals were very discouraged. Still, the rain fell, 
day and night. Until at last one evening, the clouds gave way to a magnificent starry sky. And the little bird returned with good news. She had found a spot where the animals could make a new home. Hooray! The crew set a course to follow their feathered friend. They followed the little bird for several days, and then one morning, the giraffe shouted, Land ho! At last, the animals disembarked the boat that had saved them from the flood. Goodbye and thank you, Mr. Noah.